。你好，我是拉玛瑞塔，在澳大利亚从事商业空间设计和室内建筑设计有十四年的时间，与你分享实用的设计资讯，从设计师视角记录澳洲生活。哎，你们去了全员出动去看哈布尼斯的建材过程。那我们选素材都是让他们把样品寄到国内去。那今天呢，他给很详细的讲解，我们有任何的提问，他也可以问他。尤其是在疫情之后啊，关于这个建材的 supply 运输价格上面有没有什么变动，所以今天都可以在 workshop 里面一一的问清楚。啊，到了，哎，一起来呀、啊！为什么就你一个人？要不要讲一下？这个美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，美女，Welcome. <laughs> um, I guess it'd be good to hear a little bit more about the projects that you're working on. So basically, we call our board the engineer. Mm. Um, are we all familiar with what an engineer board is? Yeah, explain, explain, yeah. explain that again. Absolutely. Okay. So, an engineer board is where you have, in this case, we've got the European oak on the top, mm. and then we've got a substrate. The substrate can be all different products. It might be a ply, it might be a eucalypt, um, a spruce. Um, there are different thicknesses. There, um, it comes as different widths, different lengths, different coatings. You, you have a variety when you come, go with an engineered board. The difference, I guess, with a solid, a solid board, the oak would run all the way through as one piece, so a solid piece. There is that misconception that with a solid board, you can sand it back as many times as you like. But the truth is, you can only sand it down to a certain point before it starts affecting the integrity of the joint, because it's still going to have a join. So you can't keep sanding, sanding, to here because you have a join, whether it's an engineered board mm. or a solid. Mm -hmm. So there are huge advantages going engineered. Um, one of them is the fact that you have the choice in the texture, mm. uh, because if you go with a solid piece, if you install a solid board, as soon as you install it, they need to sand it. Mm. And then that will make a smooth mm. board. Mm. The other advantage is that it's a lot more stable. Mm. So you have a lot less movement. You mm. won't have the same amount of contraction and expansion mm. as you can get with a solid. And with a solid board, um, you might notice, you know, over years that they'll start gapping between mm. the planks. Mm. Another advantage is that you can use it over underfloor heating, mm. whereas a solid board you cannot. And that's becoming a lot more popular here in mm. Australia. Um, more so in Europe, but more and more people are using that here. So yeah, you have a lot more choice when it comes to the width, the thickness, the lengths, etc. So that's yeah, the main reason why we, we only work with engineered. So there's a difference in substrates too. So for example, I'll call this the Rolls Royce in substrates because mm -hmm. this ply is a marine grade birch ply. Mm -hmm. So it's very dense. Mm -hmm. It's not going to retain moisture the same way as mm -hmm. a very cheap, lightweight ply. So if you did have, I don't know, if you're a dishwasher or if you had a leak and you get cleaned it up, you're more likely to save your boards mm -hmm. with a marine grade ply than something that, like a poplar ply, which you instantly you pick it up and it feels really light. That will mm -hmm. soak up the water and that's where the boards will start expanding and mm -hmm. have boards pop. Yeah. So the quality of the substrate plays a big part as well, not just of what's on top. Mm. Uh, what we call a square edge. So the boards don't have a bevel at all. Um, and then you've got different size bevels. You've got ones that are micro bevel, where you've got a very small bevel, mm. that. Mm. So different manufacturers have different edging. One's not better than the other, it's just a different look. Sometimes people like to have the bevel and you know, it helps define the boards. Yeah. Others like a more seamless look. Mm. It's just a different style. Yeah, so each manufacturer has their own. Mm. Um, you've got the two different coatings. You've got lacquer and you've got oil. Mm. So your lacquer, I like to describe it as like a nail polish. Mm. It sits on the top. It's very hard. Mm. Um, it's almost like a film on the top of the, of the timber. Mm. That, that's what a lacquered board feels like. Your oiled board feels like, well, I guess the oil sinks in like a moisturiser. So you're going to feel that natural green mm. come through. That's an oil finish. The advantages with both. So... When you've got, um, if you spill a red curry or a red wine or something on both of them, mm. they will both clean up. Mm. If you left it there over time, they will eventually stain. Mm. Your lacquered board will buy you more time. 
So it's like a, a bit nail polish, mm. so to speak, a finish. We'll buy you more time before it stains. Your oil board, the advantage is if you happen to scratch it, if you dragged a fridge or something and you have a huge scratch mark, you can simply just rub an oil over the top and you can fix the scratch without having to sand back the floor. Mm. So you can do those spot repairs. Mm. So some people describe the lacquer board as harder to damage, but then harder to repair. Mm. Your oil board is easier to repair. So in your um, project, I would say 50 50. Mm. Yeah, there isn't one, for example, I'm saying a majority of commercial they use oil or vice versa. It's it'd be 50 50. Mm. Yeah, I think sometimes budget and price point plays a big part as well. Um, because generally speaking, the um, oil boards tend to cost a bit more than your lacquer. So, all the stuff in Australia that they're made from different countries, factory, yes, yes. Okay. So, we have different manufacturers, I think there's about eight manufacturers, that's maybe more. Yeah, um. So they will have their different style. Mm. So it might be that you know, they make their boards with a big bevel or it might be that quick system. Or, mm. um, so we source them and all the have woods purchased from the same factories mm. and um, they are manufactured specifically for us. Mm. So you can't get the mm. same board from mm. anywhere else. Mm. And warehousing within Australia borders or whatever. Yes, in. so it's um, stored in Rutherford, New South Wales. Okay. So it all goes to Rutherford. Mm. We've probably got about $7 million worth of stock sitting mm. there, mm. are ready to go. Um, we try to keep stock up all the products. Sometimes it's hard when, you know, if you've got mm. 1,500 squares and then yeah. you've got one order that just eats it, then we yeah. need. So if it's in stock, it generally means you can get it in three to four business days. Okay. Um, if it's not in stock, it means it's on the water. Yeah. So it could be a week away or if you just ordered it, it might be 45 months away. Okay. But yeah, we, like I said, we try to keep stock continuously mm, mm. in our warehouse. Mm. Mm.